Hello my darlings, this is Katie the Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry and today I am coming with a soap that actually was fueled by something. And before I get into that, um, I'm going to tell you guys about my colors. Uh, I am testing fragrance oils and colorants uh, for a company, an uh, awesome company by the name of Rustic Essentials. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already heard of this company. But for those of you who haven't, if you're just starting out and you want to get into uh, soap making and find a good company that has amazing colorants and great fragrance oils that just stick and stay strong throughout the entirety of your soap, then that is most definitely the company to go to. I'm going to most definitely leave all of their information in the section below. So, um, I did a little mixing uh, today because I... I saw something like I said this soap was fueled by something <laughs> but then I kind of went online and did a little research and I saw uh, ombre hair <laughs> and it gave me the idea to do this soap so in this cup here give it a little swirl around you can see that this is a mixture of rustic essentials black mica and rustic essentials purple passion and it's funny that i picked this because the name of this soap is going to be called pure passion and i came up with that name even before i saw this so it's it must be meant to be for me to make this soap and for um this color here that's lilac lust which you guys know i use that a lot as my favorite and i think when i first did my haul i did say that i was going to try the three purples together so i am um and this color here let's swirl around it's a mixture of rustic essentials soft amethyst mica and frosty rose petal mica um it's going to be i've never done an ombre soap before and I, I may go that route but i'm not sure i'm still undecided on how i want to do this but you'll see as i go okay and so about this soap as i'm doing all of this um preparing my soap and getting everything together i will be talking um and for those of you who are not into videos where people talk about things that are not soap related then you know maybe you want to mute it or whatever the case may be and the reason why i said that i know you guys are like what is wrong with you kenny <laughs> but the reason why i say that because i got off of work friday i'm just putting on my mic as a way moving my way i got off of work friday and i was in a fantabulous mood absolutely fantabulous and it is so nice and so much fun for me to come home from work and on the weekend especially and sit down and go through all of my comments and respond to you all i get excited about uh seeing what you guys have to say to me and responding to all of your amazing comments but i'm telling you i came across a comment in my uh royal appleberry signature soap video that really pissed in my wheaties <laughs> I'm sorry for the language, but it really did. And normally when people say mean things, I mean, that just goes to the territory when you do videos on YouTube. Um, I normally just ignore it, but I don't know. That that really put me in a bad mood. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, give this a blast. And then I will tell you guys the rest. And I really was supposed to mix in my... Uh, milks first but oh well it will still work out all the same all right look at me i'm burping <laughs> i didn't forget so i'm only going to bring this to you know multiplication i'm not going to bring it to a trace i don't think just because the design i'm not sure i, I do believe for this design you need to have it at uh, a very very light trace so by the time I get finished mixing it with my colorants and fragrance and all that stuff it should be at a very thin trace so okay so back to what I was saying you know I've said this before and I'm probably gonna say it 10,000 times and normally when people are nasty to me I just delete your comment and that's just the end of it you know but this I don't know why this person well yeah I do know why this person really put me in a sour mood because I don't know why some people think they can go through life just being nasty absolutely nasty to people yeah you know you can say whatever you want that's grand you sure can but do you always have to 
what is your purpose my channel is all about positivity and having fun and you know making soap and just chatter and what have you and i know that's not for everyone but you know what i've gone to channels where i'm just like hmm this is not really my thing and guess what i do i hit the exit button I don't feel the need to be nasty to anyone and tell anyone. This person said to me, I love your videos, but your annoying laugh really, you know, you're annoying. I'm not going to say verbatim. I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, your, your laugh is really annoying. Um, I had to mute it because I just couldn't listen to your laugh and you talk too much. You know, and I've said this before because I've had idiots because you're an idiot. If you feel the need to say something nasty to someone, um, you talk too much and you really need to stop doing so much talking. Apparently, you can't soap and talk at the same time. That's the reason why your soap, your soap batter thickens up. And uh, I'm pretty sure if you stop talking so much, then you would get more subscribers. I know it. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? And then they topped it off by saying, I'm not trying to be mean. I love that part. I'm not trying to be mean, but you really need to get rid of that annoying laugh. <laughs> well, guess what? You normally, like I said, I, I just, I delete these comments, but she really pissed me off. <laughs> so I did respond to her and I left it up because I don't know who you think you are that you can just go through life saying things that you want to people and they, they're not going to say anything back to you and I'm a very humble person I'm a very meek person and I hope that if I sound like I'm being boastful for anything in this video you know what I'm sorry but I know one thing about me I can make soap and my soaps don't thicken up because I talk too much hey if you knew anything about making soap you would know that that just happens it could be your fragrance it could be your temperatures it could be a multitude of things but being the fact that you don't know anything about soap making other than watching videos you would know that would you and so i decided to go to this person's channel just to see you know since they want to tell me how i should get more subscribers and why how i should do things in my channel so i went to their channel just to see uh how many subscribers they had guess what they have zero no subscribers at all so I thought that was pretty hilarious, you know, give advice when you don't even have anything going yourself. But you know what? I do really hope that when you, if you decide to get your channel up, when you uh, come across people who are nasty to you, that, I don't know, I just, I, I want you to see how it feels because it's not nice. It is not nice. You have no right to talk to people like that and then sugarcoat it by saying, I'm not trying to be me. Well, what are you trying to be? You're not trying to be positive. You're not being helpful. And I've had someone else say that to me before, but guess what? And that's why I say, you know, if I come off as being boastful or anything like that, I'm sorry to you all who know me. You all know I'm not like that. And for the new viewers, I want you to know I'm not a boastful person, but I have to say this just because I am annoyed. I'm still kind of annoyed about it <laughs> just because the level of the nastiness, that's why, that's why I'm really annoyed. But my thing is this, I have close to 3,000 subscribers and I did that in less than a year. So for you to tell me, this person who has zero subscribers, for you to tell me how to get more subscribers, I think I don't need to take advice from you. I think I'm doing pretty darn well. And for those few that came and said things like this to me in the past, you're not helping me. But I will say you did help me, this person who decided to leave me this nasty message because I really didn't have any ideas for any soap. So what I was going to do, but because you left such a disgusting message and I do find it very disgusting and I find your rudeness disgusting. Since you left a comment like that to me, you did nothing but inspire me. Yes, you did. You inspired this soap. So I dedicate this soap to you. This soap is called Pure Passion. And the reason why I named it Pure Passion because... I put passion and love and everything into my soap making. Even the ones that don't turn out the way I want them to. It's nothing but love in my soaps. And I'm very passionate about what I do. I'm very passionate about my subscribers. I'm very passionate about talking to you all. I'm passionate about it all. So that's why the name of this soap is called Pure Passion. Because I just feel that passionate. And I, I thank you person who felt the need to leave me a nasty comment. Because not only have you given me um what's the word i'm looking for you've given me the drive to turn your negative comment into something positive 
on one soap you gave me two soaps so there's going to be two soaps made because of you the next one is called free and the reason why it's called free because i'm free to say whatever the hell i want on my youtube channel if you don't like what i say for future people who come to my channel and this is just not your thing and you feel like i talk too much or my laugh is annoying guess what i'm not going to change my laugh because my laugh is a part of me that's just like, and I told this person, you telling me to change my annoying laugh is like telling me cut off a limb. It's part of me. It's not going to change. So for people who feel like they can't deal with my way of doing things, you are more than welcome to leave and never return because I only want positivity and fun and good things in my channel. That's what I want. You know, all of you have been so supportive to me. You rock. I mean, I'm telling you, you rock. And I may sound like I'm angry still. <laughs> It's not that. I think it's just the passion in me. You know, because I, not only with soap, and you go through life, I've met people who say really nasty things to people and think, oh, that's cool. No, it's not. People don't always need to hear what you think because if your, your opinions are not you know, constructive or trying to help a person move in a better direction, you need to keep them to yourself. That's just how I feel. So, with that being said, I think for this one, I'm going to add a little bit more of my lilac lust because it's not really the color that I want. These two came out perfect. Absolutely. You know what? I think yeah, I'm going to add just a dash and then I'm going to lighten it. I know that's probably bass backwards, but that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, so I don't know. I just, I took the negativity anytime anyone else decides to leave something nasty on my channel. If you give, if you leave a nasty comment or, you know, a comment that you, I don't know how you think it's not mean when you say nasty things to people because you say, I'm not trying to be mean. Well, what are you trying to be? Once again, I don't know. Think about it. And if you're watching this video, I mean, I don't know if you are. Maybe you did take my advice and never come back. And that would be great because we don't need that here. But if you are watching, think about the things you say before you say it because you're not helping anyone. But like I said, you did help me on this one <laughs> because I really didn't know what I was going to do as far as my next sew. But you have truly helped me create pure passion. So that's enough of that. So next, what I am going to do because I have not done it in a while is give some shout outs. And this, I don't know, this, this video is special to me just because I had to say all that. And that goes for any of you who have... Uh, YouTube channels and you come across stuff like that take that negativity and turn to something positive and create a kick-ass soap That's what you do with it And if you're not a soap maker and you're a candle maker or you're a seamstress or whatever you are You make something killer because that person had the balls to come to you and say something really nasty So you just turn into a positive that's the way we should always deal with negative things because I could have been just really nasty what I really wanted to say <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not gonna say that because really what is the purpose? I'm not gonna stoop to your level I'm just not, you know, it's, there's no purpose in it. I just take your negativity and turn to something great. So, in this video, I'm going to give uh, four shout outs. <laughs> um, and I'm going to give two to YouTubers and two to um, Etsy shop owners or Etsyans. So, I'm going to take a second to say that now. And I will be putting all the information in the section below. So, the very first shout out goes to Diane Campbell. She has an Etsy shop. And she's one of my viewers. Hi, Diane. I am so, so proud of you. I mean, anybody who creates anything, I'm proud of all of you. And I want you guys to go to her shop and give her the support. Um, follow her and favor her and put her items in your, uh, your treasure. Buy her products, most definitely, because that's why we all do it. And the second Etienne I want to give a shout out to is Lullaby Soaps. Do the same for her, most definitely. We can all use each other's support because we're all doing it for a reason. And we want to support each other. And that's the easiest thing you can do, most definitely. Okay, and then my <clears throat> third shout out is a YouTuber by the name of Willow Don. I know Willow from um, Facebook. And she is just such a sweetheart. And I mean, she's amazeballs, let me tell you. This woman is a sculptor. She sculpts dolls and if you haven't saw her video, then you don't know what you're missing. If you have, kudos on you. She actually uh, sculpted a big, a big beautiful rose out of soap. Mind blowing, really, really is. So most definitely go and check her channel out. And she actually has a channel. I mean, a video also up about how to make a silicone molds for your in bed. So she's pretty kick ass, most definitely. All of you are. And last but not least, I hope I'm saying your name right. And I think if it, if this is how you pronounce your name, is beautiful. Nakomi Soap. 
she's another youtuber who makes soaps and she makes beautiful soaps and she's another one of my subscribers so <clears throat> Most definitely go and give the love and support and share her videos, share their videos, follow and treasure and like and just support one another because it's all about positivity and that's why we're here to support one another. And you guys are amazing for all the support that you always show to each other. It is just mind-blowing. And I have so many new soapers that say or people who want to start out. The soaking community is so great and it is because we're here to give each other love and you know encourage and just push in the right direction to success we're not here to tear each other down so for those of you if you don't like my style of things or any youtuber style of things keep quiet just move on to the next channel maybe you will find what you like maybe you like a channel that is completely silent if that's for you that's great but don't tell people your negative comments and how you feel because it's not helping anyone okie dokie so <laughs> the fragrance that I'm using is also from Rustic Essentials and it's called Raspberry Lilac and I'm telling you and I always say this <laughs> it smells good <laughs> it smells really good oh uh, it's more it's I mean it's like a 50 50 how in the heck they pull that off I don't know but it's a 50 50 uh note match there, you can smell like a half lilac, half raspberry, and one is not competing with the other. They're just equally there, and they smell so darn good. So, mm, yeah, that smells great, and I thought it was just really fitting for this, this soap here. So, I'm going to go ahead and I think, let me take another gander at this picture. And I'm telling you, these girls, these girls who come out with these amazing ombre hairs, <laughs> you're kind of badass. <laughs> I'm not ballsy enough to pull it off, but it looks darn good on you. So, <laughs> and thank you for giving me the inspiration to use your hair to make this soap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lighten this a bit. And I know it looked crazy for me to actually add more color and then lighten it, but it was more grayish and I want it to be more a soft lilac, most definitely. And, um, normally I show you guys, you know, the dry form of the micas next to, but it really serves no purpose this time because I mixed them so but I'm in love with this this purple here because that's the color that I want it I think this is gonna turn out really really pretty all right a little blend just to mix in that titanium dioxide yep oh that's perfect And yesterday, I'm telling you, <laughs> I made two loaves. It was just remake, so I didn't uh, film it or anything like that. But I had a, a helper. <laughs> and it's so funny. Um, let's just say this helper of mine is male. He's extremely good looking. So it made my soaping go awesome. <laughs> really did. Just a friend. But <laughs> it did help. <laughs> So it was, I had a good day yesterday, despite all things this weekend. And I wasn't peeved, you know, the entire weekend because I just put this person with their nasty root comment out of my head and just went on to commenting and chatting with the rest of you and posting new videos. But I don't know. It's just like when I started talking in this video, I just got angry all over again. But I'm going to use that anger, which I'm not angry now, you know. But I'm going to use that energy and turn it into something great because I do believe this soap is going to turn out amazing balls. I really do. So, all right. So now that I got that mixed up, I'm very pleased because I'm not good with um, mixing colors to get them to the color that I want. <clears throat> but I think this is, this is perfect. This is what I was looking for most definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance nap. This smells so darn good. And now the wind is blowing a nice little breeze through my window. And I'm going to enjoy this fragrance even more. <laughs> Man, this smells good. Raspberry and lilac. How do you come up with those combinations? I just don't know. That work so darn well. All right. So that is it. Yes, get every drop out <laughs> because you should. You really shouldn't waste. <laughs> I scrape my bows. I tap until there's nothing left coming out of my containers. I am not one to waste because every time I see like a drop or something. And my, my gorgeous helper yesterday, I asked him to pass me. Uh, I have this big container of my olive oil. You know how you get to the end of your containers. There's like drizzles left. And I said, can you pass me that? So he did. And I did a micro drizzle. And he says, you want me to toss this? I said, no. <laughs> there's more olive oil in there. 
<laughs> and I use, I mean, I use everything to there is nothing left. And I'm sure a lot of you who make any product can agree with me. Waste, uh-uh. Nope, that's like throwing away money. I don't do it. Okay, so this is actually behaving lovely. <clears throat> Everything's going great. And I soaked, I think my lie was, yeah, my lie was 87 and my, uh, my oils were 97. So this is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just really, I'm very pleased with the way this is turning out. And it smells so darn good. And I'm looking here because I see little bits of my milks and clays. It's a clump. And I kind of, no, I'm going to stick blend that out. I should anyway, yeah. Just to make sure that my, um, my fragrance is nice and incorporated. And of course, I did that bass backwards again. I was supposed to do lightest to darkest, but ooh well. Um, it's not going to make that much of a difference because it's so very close to one another, these colors. Okay. Yeah, I think this consistency is going to work out for me. And I actually was planning to do it a different way, but I was going to do the ombre. And I had planned to use um, a method that I saw Sierra Miroy, <coughs> a spice pine cone do. Um, was that hers? I think it was. No, 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 it wasn't Sarah Milroy, but Sarah, I do love you. Just know that. <laughs> it was, uh, Emily of Shade, De uh, Shade Design Studios, Shade Studios. Uh, she actually would use a color and then take her, uh, plain uncolored batter and pour, she would pour half the color in and then take the plain uncolored half and pour it into what was left in there and then continue on that's how she got her ombre effect and i plan to do that with my free soap the next soap that i make but uh with this one nope because i'm going to do a mica line in between or a pencil line you know uh, a lot of these techniques are called by many things so yeah i'm going to do a gold one in between each layer oh this is just behaving beautifully absolutely beautifully everything is so nice so nice so nice and fluid and I noticed, um, there was another fragrance that I used, what was it? Oh, the, uh, Clementine Lavender, it actually slowed trace. And I think that this, um, Raspberry Lilac is doing the same. So, love it. I love <laughs> when fragrance oils kind of slow down trace. It works better for me. Because it just gives you more time to play. It really does. Unless you want like a really thick texture soap, which I do need though sometimes, but for the most part, I like for my my um, batters to be nice and fluid. And trust, it ain't because I talk too much. <laughs> I just I couldn't help myself. I had to say that. So <laughs> All right, man, this smells so good. It it even though it's like a uh, the raspberry in the lilac, it kind of has like a like a candy note to it like a very sweet candy note I don't know that's why I'm smelling but I love it I really do all right oh guys I wanted to tell you that was absolutely hilarious and so much fun so Hunter's birthday was June 3rd I had planned to tell you that first but I had to get that out the way <laughs> but Hunter's birthday was June 3rd and in March I'm like, I love music. I think I explained that to you all before that I really, really do love music. And there is one band that I have been listening to. And I like rock music, oddly enough. I do. Yes, I love it. Um, I don't know. A lot of you may not know, but there is a rock band called System of a Down. I am a massive fan. And I've always wanted to see them in concert. And of course, because Hunter is my daughter, she tends to like the same types of music that I like. So... For her birthday, I decided, even though it was in March, when I heard the tickets were going on sale and they're going to be here in Michigan, I got those tickets and I was willing to pay. I didn't care how much it cost. I was willing to pay for those tickets. But um, <clears throat> I got the tickets. I surprised her. I'm such an evil mother. <laughs> I made her think she was in trouble when I showed her like my phone, like it was a bad report card marking or something I got from her school. And I let her read it because I go, what is that? And she looks and she goes, she, oh. My daughter has like these massive, big, beautiful doe eyes and she was looking terrified like she was in trouble. And when she looked at it, she goes, oh my God, this is so cool. So that was really cool. I wish I could have recorded it. But then, of course, she would have wondered why I was recording her. <laughs> but anyway, so I went to the concert. We went to the concert Wednesday. 
and I had a blast and I tell you my inner teenager came out <laughs> My inner teenager came out so to the point that the next day I was so sore and I could barely move. <laughs> I rocked it out. Hunter and I totally rocked it out. But, whoa, I forgot, you know, once you get older, you can't do all that because you're not a spring chicken anymore. Not saying I'm ancient, but, <laughs> um, yeah, my body told me, excuse me, you're not supposed to be doing that. But, yeah, my neck was hurting so bad. My legs were hurting. I felt like I had been ran over by a train. <laughs> But it's okay because it was totally worth it. I had a blast. I really did. So, yeah, I just thought that was really funny. Because I didn't think, okay, yeah, I'm going to be so sore the next day. I was just enjoying myself and feeling the music. And it was just such love. And the crowd was just great. And, oh, it was so many people there. So, so many people there. But just the whole atmosphere was absolutely amazing. So, you couldn't help. If you're into that type of music, any type of music, really, if you love a band and you go see them, you just get into it. You don't care about anything else. It was amazing. Absolutely. Okay, friends. Uh, but I'm better now. My neck still hurts just a little bit. <laughs> but my legs are good. So I'm going to go ahead and bang this down. Make sure I get all my air bubbles out. And I will return. Hopefully. Well, you know what? I'm not caring because I have a little bit of uh, soap around the edges where for me banging it, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that because I'm not going to do um, the ombre, the typical ombre. Because I am going to put um, the mica in between. So, but I will because I do have some of this up just a little higher than I want. I will clean that off. I think that's, ah, that'll work. And the ends doesn't matter because no one's going to see them anyway because I cut them off. All right. So the only thing, you know, I did mention Sarah Milroy for a reason because it's spicy pine cone because <clears throat> I do want to do her the way she used her spatula to pour the next uh, layer. So I'm just looking at the picture. Yeah, I'm just looking at the picture of this girl's hair and um, making sure I'm going in the right color order. All right, so hopefully I have my fan on and it doesn't go crazy blowing everything everywhere. So, and for those of you who want to know about doing pencil lines or mica lines, the whole idea is not to use too much because if you do, it will cause your soaps to separate. So just kind of do it lightly because I learned that, I don't know what soap that was. It was one soap that I did where I kind of went nuts because I really wanted the color to show in between and that soap totally broke apart. So just give it a nice little tap and that gold and purple looks stellar. That just, that does scream pure passion to me. Okay, so that's good. And I think for the next color, I'm going to uh, spoon this on. Right, I'm just trying to get everything that I can out of this cup and into this mold. You guys know how I am about that. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to get. <clears throat> now, let's see. I'll just move it out a little bit and then I'll give it a little, just a little bit of a bang down. Nothing crazy. Uh, for those of you who are into, I mean, anybody who's into music, um, if you like the type of music that I like, like rock bands and things like that, do share with me. I would love to hear what kind of bands you like. Because I'm just, it is not, you know, 
it's not just heavy metal and um rock music or anything like that i like all music but you know some are just your favorite you like more oops you like more than others <clears throat> and i really do en enjoy rock music but i like i like music that is not very popular or it is but just not in the u.s <laughs> i listen to french music and indian music and um brazilian music I, I i listen to all kinds of music so music is just music to me if it sounds good i'm all for it so if you have obscure taste in music let me know what some of your bands are some of your favorite artists are whether they're rock or not because i would love to know and i can go and check them out and maybe find myself some new music because that's always fun all right and of course hunter named me the coolest mom ever that's because i am <laughs> but yeah she was like so happy and i think the best part of that concert for me was to look at her and just see the pure happiness on her face she when the band because even the opening acts normally you go to opening acts you're like Ugh. but they were actually pretty good the first one she was extremely strange <laughs> but she was very very entertaining for sure you would not be bored seeing her perform because she is something different um i think yeah that uh group was called la baguettes <laughs> and some of you may have heard of them but i've never heard of her before and then uh, I looked up the second band on YouTube, which they were called the Melvins. And I'm telling you, they rocked it out. They really did. But when uh, Sissimo Down first came out, I looked at Hunter. And like I said, she has these big, beautiful doe eyes. And she just had this biggest smile on her face. She goes, oh my God, Mom, I'm so happy. I can't explain this feeling. I'm just so happy. <laughs> that just made it the most amazing thing for me because she was so darn happy. So... When you can please your kids and you see that ultimate joy on their face, it just, it's worth, it's worth more than a million bucks. It really is, because that was the best part of the concert to me, just to see her pure happiness. Okay, so now, uh, my next color, or my last color, is this lilac -y color here. I'm just going to give it a little stir to loosen things back up, which everything is still just behaving so beautifully. It really is. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of spatula, or some ladle or whatever word you want to use this on um <laughs> after i do my layer <laughs> of my gold okay yeah let's do that first Um, I got everything in here and I lighten it just a wee bit nothing too crazy I just felt like it would look it would just give it an interesting contrast to it if I lightened it so I'm very pleased everything is just working out and I just think I thank the person with their negativity because it has really helped me to be extremely creative so thank you very much so, <laughs> um, I guess I really honestly I had no idea even yesterday after I made the two uh, remakes of uh, restocks of my bee's knees, I was just like, what am I going to do? Because I really, really wanted to do another soap. I just had no idea of what soap to do. And I looked at a bunch of fragrances and nothing was really speaking to me. And then, you know, I just kind of sat and thought and I'm just like, you know what? Thank you. So that was just kind of like my, my, um, my, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but I did turn that negative because that did stick with me. And normally I just let things roll off my back. I don't give a rat's patooter. Um, but I don't know why that bothered me so much. I guess because, you know, as you get older and I'm learning to break out of my shell of letting people say whatever they want and not responding to it. And rather that be via social media because I'm not a confrontational person at all. But rather it be uh, via social media or in real life, I'm just learning if something bothers me, I'm going to speak up about it. Because if you felt the need to tell me something when you don't even know me, <laughs> then I feel that I should respond to you. Just to kind of give you some, some, some thought provo provoking words to think about. Keep your mouth shut. You don't always need to say what's on your mind. 
I mean, you really don't because it's not helping anyone. So that did really just kind of, I'm like, huh, passion, passion, passion. And then this soap just popped in my head. I'm like, Eureka. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> So I am very, very pleased with this though. I think this is going to turn out really cool just because I put so much passion into making this Pure Passion Soap. Yes, I think it's going to come out very, very nice. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited about all my soaps, but some more than others. And this is one of them. All right. And speaking of concerts, again, Hunter and I, we were looking at a few more concerts. I think this is just going to be the summer of concerts. It really is for us. So I'm going to look into a few more, but the ones that we really wanted to see, we saw at the, um, the theater that we went to, um, the tickets aren't very good seats left because I probably should have did that like maybe back in March when they first released them, but we're going to do, try to do at least two more concerts this summer just because I love hanging out with my kid. I got the coolest kid. She's just like really laid back. <laughs> she's really, really laid back and now <clears throat> she's 17 years old and She's always just been really mature, so I just like her mannerism. She's just really cool, cool, cool kid. She doesn't give me any problems, so I'm very, very fortunate and blessed. And I'm just, I'm blessed in general because this year has just been amazing in so many, so many different ways. And I get to talk to you all. I get to, you know, just, ah, I just love you all so much. I know I say that a lot, but I do because you guys are awesome. And then especially when I hear comments like, you know, I was having a bad day and I watched one of your videos and it just made my day. That totally makes my day just to hear that. You know, just by me doing something that I love and sharing it with you all can make you feel better. If you're having a crap day, that just means so much to me. So I'm just really, really blessed to have you all in my life, a part of my life because you are a part of my life. And um, to have just a really cool kick-ass daughter <laughs> who doesn't give me any problems other than your typical lazy teenager. But, I mean, she's a good girl. She's a hard worker. She works and all of that. But cleaning her room? Nope, never. So <laughs> but, oh, well. <laughs> um, and just, you know, everything that's been going on. So I do consider myself truly, truly blessed. I do. And especially because of you all. So I thank you. I thank you always. And I will continue to thank you all for being so darn awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give this just a teeny little tap down. Not too much. And I thought I was gonna do like um, a high top on here. I think not. <clears throat> just because I don't want to pull up um, any of the purple from underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle this darker purple on top. And Clay Yoshida, he comes up with the coolest stinking designs ever. And like, like this, he would probably totally leave it like this, but me, nope, I can't do that. So, <laughs> I just gotta always go messing with stuff. And I think I got too much purple, darker purple, because I don't want this whole top to be like super dark purple. So, I'm gonna save a little, and if I don't use it, then oh well, I just don't use it, but I don't want that much purple. Alright, push my glasses up, because they're falling off my face. And I have some gold left over from yesterday from my bee's knees. So I'm going to go ahead and use that up. Oops, I'm over making a mess. That's what I'm doing. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, use my mini whisk to stir this up to make sure it's really incorporated with this oil. I know that sounds horrifying. Everybody tells me it does. <laughs> like if I'm on a phone with my mom or one of my friends, they're just like, what is that noise? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Oops. I think maybe... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make this a high top or wood. Yeah, I think I am. I'm just going to go ahead and mush the sides in a little bit and see what, what comes out. I think I don't want to swirl this first or should I not? Oh, sometimes I wish you guys were here so you can give me a little bit of guidance. It would help greatly. It really would. So, I know I keep moving this around. I'm trying to keep you guys in camera and still be able to
Yeah, this fragrance is like seriously maze balls. It is still very, very fluid. Very fluid. As you can see me moving it around, it's like jiggling in the mold. So kudos for that. It did really slow down trace. And I love fragrance oils that do that. Because it just gives you a lot more time to play with it. And especially if you're undecided on what you're going to do. And I always seem to do the same little design for my high tops or semi high tops but I like it and turn it around and do it just a little bit more so it's symmetrical I think Alright, and good. I do have some purple left, so I'm going to add some purple, the darker purple, just to give it a little bit of something on the top. Don't ask me what I'm doing, because I don't know. I really don't know. You guys know me. i got to keep mucking around with it till I come up with something that works. And I am going to add a little bit more gold because the gold kind of got lost. Alright. And boy do I have a little bit gold. A little bit of gold left. Which is fine. Alright, so I'm going to, I'm going to leave that, but I am going to just do a little bit of something with the chopstick in the middle, just kind of get a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting, I think. But I am liking the way this looks. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I, um, what, I ordered some more um, oils and things today you know because I'm running out and I'm always ordering stuff because when you have a business you always need stuff but I always keep forgetting to get a new memory card and I did forget that um, the footage from my concert was on that memory card that's why it cut out on me I thought that I had deleted it well not deleted but transferred it to my computer but I had not so I didn't do much just I did that one side like I'm doing this side because I was cleaning off the little scallop edges that I didn't want on my soap. And I'm like, ooh, that's kind of cool. So, I decided to keep up with it. And also, at that concert, I took this camera. And I stuck it in my pocket. And one of my favorite songs came on. I kind of lost my mind. And it fell out of my pocket onto the hard concrete floor. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> I checked my pocket. It wasn't there. I'm like, no, Hunter, I can't find my camera. And she looked under the seat and there it was. So, thankfully, she found it. But still, um, it didn't break anything. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness. But if it had, I was truly going to run out the next day and buy a brand new camera. Because I have to film for you all. Most definitely. Okay, I'm not going to put glitter on this just because it is so busy and I love the way that it looks. And I'm starting to get more male customers and of course they don't want glitter soaps. And I do have guys like, hey, I like Barry, I don't care. So, uh, or the uh, the floral that are not too floral or, femi or feminine. So, this is my pure passion. And guys, I hope I didn't come off as being extremely angry at the beginning of this video. But sometimes things have to be said to make you feel better. And it just needs to be said. So you don't have to keep avoiding. Uh, you keep, keep dealing with that. And then, too, I had to kind of give you guys a story. So you can see why I made this soap and what inspired me to make this soap. So that is it all. Thank you for joining me. Um, to my new viewers. Hopefully new subscribers. If you like what you see in this video, mine is the rage. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video. That way you can get notifications of what we are up to. And most times I am very friendly and cheery and in a good mood. I'm still in a great mood. And my videos don't start off that way. But like I said, sometimes you just have to. And to my subscribers that are always there for me. I love you guys with all of my heart. 
big love big kudos and hugs and everything goes out to you all i love you thank you for all your support thank you for being there for me and love me unconditionally and until next time guys with the sappiness i'm leaving so i'll see you later